Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile character review today featuring Guardian Terminator. As usual guys, please know the date when this video has been recorded because a lot of things may have changed since then and if you're not familiar with the matrix I'm using in order to evaluate characters, you can find it on the top right corner of the screen. So without any further ado, let's put Guardian Terminator to the test. Guardian Terminator guys was released on the 13th of August 2020 and by the way he was never part of the regular story because first of all he's a diamond and second of all he had his own pack and by the way he still has his pack so basically for 400 souls you have something like 4% chance of obtaining him so let's find out whether he's worth that price his attack is 63,466 which ranks 6th in the game the hit points they are 132,480 and they're the 4th highest in the game, the toughness is 52,920 and it ranks 6th highest in MK Mobile and the recovery is 51,030 which is the 8th highest among all characters in the game. The power generation is relatively low by the way, it is just 110%. So for his stats, Guardian Terminator is going to get the solid 22.6 out of 28 possible points. Special one of Guardian Terminator guys is called Sold Off, and here it is what you need to know about it. First of all, the ability is completely blockable. It has Dispel as buff, and to be honest, it is only him and some other Elder Gods that have Dispel on Special One, so that's quite impressive. The ability can be cast from distance, it is little, it consists of 3 mini attacks, and it has a single tap rectangle as mini game. When it comes to damage, the minimum damage of the ability is 21,990, which is the 7th highest in MK Mobile. However, the maximum damage isn't that impressive. It is only 33,510, which ranks 33rd in the game. Once again, the special attack can be blocked by the enemy, it has Dispel as buff, it can be cast from distance, it is little, it consists of 3 mini hits, and it has the single tap rectangle as mini game. So for his special one, Guardian Terminator is going to get 8.4 out of 13 possible points. Special 2 of Guardian Terminator guys is called Albi Backbreaker. Now to be honest, this is the bread and butter of this character, in the sense that you should be using his special to like 90% of the time. It is either his special to or uh, his fatal blow, whatever is more necessary and depending on the situation. And of course, if you are snared or something, it will be nice to use his special one, but let's call it this way. In 95% of the cases, you have to use special to Guardian Terminator. With that said, let's take a more closer look at it. The ability is completely unblockable. It has Cripple as debuff, which is one of the best debuffs in the game. It can be cast from distance. And the most beautiful thing about it is that even if you're tagging in the Terminator, you know, when you tag him in, he actually pushes the enemy back. If you use Special Tool of exactly this moment, it will be perfectly safe and the ability will connect, which is not the case with Dark Fate Terminator, unfortunately. Moreover, the ability is little, it consists of 8 mini attacks and it has 2 single tap circles as mini game. When it comes to damage, the minimum damage of the ability is 54,453, which ranks 5th in the game, and the maximum damage is 95,294, which is the 14th highest in MK Mobile. That is quite impressive, guys, considering the fact that this special attack is unblockable. Once again, the special attack is unblockable, it has cripple as debuff, it can be cast from distance, it is lethal, it consists of 8 mini hits and it has the 2 single tap circles as mini game. So for his special 2, Guardian Terminator is going to get the impressive 16.4 out of 19 possible points. The Fatal Blow of Guardian Terminator guys is pretty, pretty awesome. I've seen it like a hundred of times and still, every time when I see it again, it brings a smile on my face. It is simply mount blowing. Uh, with that said, what you need to know about it is that first, it has very useful buff, which is shield, applicable to your entire team, and second, it can be cast from distance. However, the uh, Fatal Blow will miss at long range, so you have to be careful. 
When it comes to damage, the damage of the ability is 128,804, which ranks 8 in the game. Once again, the Fatal Blow has Shield as buff and it can be cast from distance. So for his third special ability, Guardian Terminator is going to get 3.9 out of 4 possible points and the total amount of points he gets for his special attacks adds up to 28.8 out of 36 possible. Let's face it guys, the basic attacks of Guardian Terminator are pretty bad. Uh, where should I begin here guys? First of all, the speed of his uh, punching uh, is not really that fast. His chaining is pretty bad. If the enemy is blocking and you don't have a uh, block breaker, it is like game over because after each of his combos, he is left vulnerable for counterattack. Because on top of the fact that he doesn't push the enemies away if they're blocking, his recovery speed is pretty terrible as well. So at the end of the day, guys, the basic attacks of Guardian Terminator are really not... Uh, not good at all. Good news here is that you shouldn't be using them at all. All you need to do is tack him in, do special 2, then survive 2 or 3 seconds, then tack him out, or take advantage of his passive, do special 2, then survive 2 or 3 seconds, then tack him out. You shouldn't be playing him as a fighter because his basic attacks are not really great, he doesn't require block breaker. Better give him some weapon that will increase the damage of his special 2. It is not really uh, smart to equip him with Block Breaker because there are much, much better fighters than him in the game. With this set, I'll be giving him 5.6 out of 10 possible points for his basic attacks. You know, the reason why I don't like to review characters before I have them maxed out is because for some characters, the true potential is unlocked when they are maxed out, and especially if I have some other characters that should be working very good with them, but uh, the character in question is Fusion 1 and the other two characters, let's say Fusion 7 or 8, thus it makes it really difficult to judge how good the character is, uh, because his teammates are like uh, 5 or 6 Fusion away from him. And unfortunately this is the case with Guardian Terminator, though I try to pair him with um, other low Fusion characters. Uh, for his best matchups, still I couldn't really test him out to the complete extent. But with that said guys, I did my best uh, to try and figure out how his passive works. And without any further ado, let's get into it. His passive is called They Are Not Machines, and here it is what it does, I quote. The Terminator has a 60% chance to save any active teammate from an incoming special attack. When triggered, the Terminator automatically tags in and blocks the attack, receiving 50% less damage from the attack and all other blocked attacks for the next 15 seconds, and gains 1 bar of power. This effect triggers as long as the Terminator is above 30% health and the tag in is off cooldown. Terminator cancels all crushing blows, x-ray attacks and fatal blows performed against him. Now, where should I begin, guys? In my opinion, this was, uh, and this is actually one of the best passes in the game. When I first checked the Terminator, I wasn't impressed, but the more I played with him, the more I was getting to know how his passive works. And at this point, guys, uh, yeah, I'm going to admit it, this is one of the best passives in the game. Now, there are two things that I dislike about this passive. The first thing is, of course, you know me, guys, I don't like passives or anything in the game that relies on chance, but it is what it is, there's nothing I can do about it. Plus 60% chance is pretty, pretty <laughs> above average. So I would say that uh, it is like almost guaranteed that sooner or later the Terminator will eventually uh, has his passive triggered because uh, like your enemies will be constantly doing special attacks on you. So at the end of the day, definitely his passive is going to get triggered. And even if he gets triggered once or even twice, it's like game over for the enemy. This is how powerful it is. And the second thing I don't like about this passive is that this passive is very weak against grapples. Uh, and especially against grapples that have a cripple as debuff, such as, for example, um, classic jack special 2. The thing is the Terminator is going to eat the damage and it's going to get crippled so your only chance of getting around that is to have two bars of power at the time Jax uses uh, his special 2 on your teammates so that uh, even though you are crippled you still have uh, your fatal blow which will be enough to destroy uh, the enemy Jax. 
And of course, this passive is also kind of weak against um, special attacks that use Power Drain, such as Kenshi Special One, Johnny Cage Special One, because even if you are blocking it, you still get Power Drained a little bit, and that's really not um, the best thing for you. Uh, with that said, you have to keep in mind that the Terminator cannot be frozen. The Terminator cannot be stunned. For example, Scorpion Special One doesn't really work on him. Sub Zero Special One doesn't really work on him. And in general, what I noticed, correct me if I'm wrong, what I noticed, guys, is that if your special attack has some uh, equipment that gives it chance to be unblockable, the Terminator will block it. However, if the special attack is naturally unblockable, such as a classic Jack Special 2 or Takeda Special 2, Shiro Yu Takeda, then the Terminator cannot block it and he's going to eat the damage. That's really, really something important uh, to notice. Another thing, if Terminator is given red card, he can still uh, get uh, his passive triggered. So, Cold Combat Cup Sonya is kind of uh, powerless to stop the Terminator stagging and like, he just cannot do anything. Another thing important to notice, guys, on top of that, is that the Terminator can actually save Dark Fate Terminator, even if the latter is in his endoskeleton form. However, once saved, um, the, the Dark Fate Terminator cannot really tag in. Uh, so, in a way, he's going to be your, your last man, and if uh, your other two guys are dead, then he can uh, tag in again and finish uh, the battle. So, long story short, this is one of the best abilities in the game, considering the fact that um, Guardian Terminator has very, very useful buff on Special 1, incredibly useful debuff on Special 2, an absolutely gorgeous buff on his uh, Fatal Blow. This is a uh, Passive is really, really powerful. All you have to do is wait for him to tag in, do devastating special to then tag out and repeat the process. The enemies won't be able to do anything. So important thing to be uh, noticed here, guys, is that if you want to use Dark Fate, I'm uh, not sorry, Guardian Terminator, there's three things that you have to consider uh, while using his passive. The first thing is that he requires a lot of HP gear because, as you well know, his passive won't get triggered if he is uh, below 30% health. So he will always benefit. Uh, equipment that boost his hit points another thing that you have to consider is uh, that the terminator actually works pretty great with other characters that can easily tag in and out such as for example classic goro now i know that a lot of you don't like classic goro but classic goro has by far the fastest tag out speed in the game what i mean is that classic Goro tags in, he does special one, and by the time his special one is over, the animation is over, Dark Fate Terminator can tag in, and because he can tag in, this means that his passive is ready, because if you're constantly tagging in and out, and his um, tagging in is in cooldown, this means that he cannot really use his passive, so you have to be careful. Two things, once again, you have to be careful that he stays above 30% health, and of course you have to uh, keep in mind that he uh, can use his passive only if uh, he's in a position where he can tag back into the game. And of course, I was about to forget the third thing that you need to consider while playing this character in order for his passive to be as good as possible is to have teamwork. Teamwork is a must, guys, but it is an special must uh, if you're playing Dark Fate Terminator. So please, just use teamwork. So, a lot of things said, guys. I don't have anything to add here. This is one of the best passives in the game. It is close to Game Changer, especially if you're facing uh, this character. You have to be extremely careful, extremely careful. If he has two bars of power, you have to be very careful not to do any special attacks, uh, unless you have Power Drain or some other way, actually, to avoid the incoming uh, damage from the Terminator. Uh, so yeah, absolutely, 2020 for the Terminator, amazing passive, he gets uh, 2 point for tagging attack and only 1 point for classes. Okay, I am going to admit that, guys. Guardia Terminator is incredible. He is a game changer. Uh, I mean, he's one of the best Diamonds character that we have in the game as of today, the 17th of September 2020. And as usual, let's take a look at the bigger picture. He has incredible stats with the exception of his relatively low power generation. His basic attacks are not really the best, but his special attacks are amazing. He has amazing buffs, 
very good special too, which is unblockable and it can be cast from distance. In addition, his passive is a game changer and he has tag in attack. All we know, he's close to perfect. That is the reason why I'll be giving him 3 out of my 3 subjective points. Uh, Garden Terminator is... Wow, he's just awesome, guys. I have to be honest, I didn't expect this to happen. Uh, the first time when I played with him, I wasn't really impressed, but then... Uh, after I got uh, the way he has to be played, I said to myself, wow, this character is simply unstoppable. It just changes the game completely, especially if you're facing this character, because how do you know? Uh, if you're seeing that he has one bar of power, how do you know whether he has 1.2 or 1.9? If you're doing a special attack and you're seeing he has just one bar of power and you say, ah, oh, probably I'll get away just for special too. And then he comes in and suddenly he has... Uh, fatal blow ready and then you are like screwed what are you going to do so a real game changer i really really like this character so i'll be giving him three out of my three subjective points and with them he's going to score the amazing 84 points sharp by the way on our current ranking guys he is ninth just above spec Ops scorpion and just below hellspawn scorpion so the final verdict of guardian terminator guys is amazing character Okay guys, we got to the gameplay. Now, if you're asking me whether Terminator is a good opener, I would say uh, no, he isn't. Uh, reason being, first of all, he doesn't really have good synergy with the Devastator because his main strength, his main weapon is his special 2, not his special 1. On top of that, uh, he has to be tagged out like in 90% of the cases. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be using him at all. Uh, but you, what you have to do is keep him tagged out and if he has two bars of power of course you can tag him in do special two and then uh, tag him out back to safety so in general he's not really the best opener in the game with that said guys when it comes to the characters that counter terminator those should be characters that have power drain on special ones such as johnny cage uh, such as uh, kenshi uh, such as some jackies and so on and so on because you know Terminator cannot really resist um, the power drain. Other characters that heavily counter him are characters with unblockable special attacks and especially unblockable special attacks that have creepo. Uh, those would be Circle of Shadow Jacks and Classic Jack. Circle of Shadow Jacks can be even luckier uh, if he actually triggers his passive and gets invincible then the Terminator cannot really do anything even if he has Fatal Blow, as, of course for a certain amount of time. And probably his greatest counter in the game at this stage guys is Day of the Dead Jade because first of all her special 2 is unblockable, second of all she will gain shield out of it so when the Terminator comes he'll be helpless, he won't be, do any he won't be able to do anything even if he has a Fatal Blow because Jade will have shield and she will be immortal for 7 or 8 seconds. With that said, when it comes to the characters that the Terminator counters, I mean, let's face it, he's good almost against any character, but there is one character that Terminator totally annihilates and this character is Combat Cup Sonya, because Combat Cup Sonya passive on the Terminator is worthless. I mean, even if she gives him the red card, he can always uh, tag back in using his passive so in a way the red card is totally totally worthless with that said guys let's move to the items now i already mentioned that the terminator requires uh, equipment that boosts his health uh, points because he needs to be over 30 percent health in order for his passive to work such equipment will be his endoskeleton arm such equipment will be shao Kahn helmet any other gear that increases the health the frost mask if you have it because it, it is a tower equipment but it will be amazing on him and when it comes to the weapon i usually give him the bloody tomahawk because i consider uh, the because I consider the Rathammer to be an overkill. After all, the Bloody Tomahawk on him is enough because even without Rathammer, his special to is kind of lethal. So it is up to you, but because I am not using him actively all the time in a way that I don't use him as a fighter, I never give him block breaker equipment. All he requires is some gear for health. And if you want some gear for power generation, even though it is disputable for me whether he also requires power generation gear because he can easily get to another 
special to another fatal blow if you have teamwork and if his passive gets triggered. Okay guys, we got to the teams. Now I will start with those two cancerous teams because this will be probably the most annoying teams to face in Faction Wars. The first team is Strike Force Scorpion. Dark Fate Terminator and Guardian Terminator. This team is incredibly toxic. I actually played him maxed out and guys, it was amazing. The second team, which is as toxic as the previous one, is Assassin Jade, Guardian Terminator and Relentless Jason. You can imagine that if you're facing this team, you cannot really use your uh, special attacks like at all. But in my opinion, if you don't have these characters, another very good team with Guardian Terminator is Guardian Terminator. Um, classic Goro and any other character, preferably Spec Ops. Uh, the thing is, once again, classic Goro has very, very fast tag out um, speed, which means that by the time he tags in, you can just do a quick special one and, and uh, when the special one of Goro is over, the animation has finished, uh, Terminator will be ready to tag in, which means a Terminator passive will be ready. So, once again, uh, teaming up Terminator with Classic Goro is a good idea, not only because of uh, the fact that Goro attacks can tag in and out very fast, but because uh, uh, that uh, the Terminator actually gets some bonus to his attack thanks to Goro, and whatever your third character is, it will be the same for him. Okay guys, Guardian Terminator, what do you think of him? Do you like him? Do you dislike him? Please let me know in the comments. Once again, he scored 84 points sharp and we labeled him as an amazing character. As usual guys, if you want to see more reviews, you can find the playlist on the top right corner of the screen. And if you want to know which is the next on-demand review coming in soon, you will find the list in the description of this video. See you next time guys. Take care and stay safe. It's official. You suck. Perfect.